what's up and welcome to this week's vlog so right now it's just gone 20 past 3 in the UK and it's Monday afternoon of course I'm going to vlog the entire week again so it's going to be really good to see what trades we kind of have should be a good week in the markets I'm going to try and vlog as much as possible so let's get into that right now let's roll the intro and I'll join you guys either tomorrow or later this evening for a little bit of an update What's up? So Tuesday afternoon update. So right now it's 2 p.m., five past two to be exact, and I'm headed to the gym. Uh, the reason I'm headed to the gym because I want to go. <laughs> and then the markets are. Th there's a few trades that needed more development. Let's put it that way. So just heading to the gym for a quick workout. Keep my eyes on Euro Yen a little bit because it may be developing, but it at least needs another hour close to see whether I'm gonna look to potentially set an entry or whether I'm not. So. Needs a bit more time. In the meantime, I'm about to hit a workout, but should be good, really. Um, but yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Just been back testing this morning. What we've been back testing, been back testing Euro Yen for 2018 for Q3 and Q4. So just finished up that, collecting the data once again, and um, good findings. Exciting time. So I'm actually putting together a plan based on each pair. So for Euro Yen, I've got a trading plan for that. For Euro Dollar, I've got a trading plan for that. Dollar Cat, I don't trade Dollar Cat anymore just because of its erratic correct behavior. Um, but let's say Kiwi Dollar, exactly the same. Got a trading plan based on that behavior, guidelines to put in place for that pair. Um, you know, so what hours, what sessions to trade it, um, how, what, what different setups react differently on this pair, how does it behave. Just a mini update guys, so it's currently Wednesday afternoon and I know I've not vlogged too much this week just because I've had a lot on and the markets have been slightly range brand is probably the best word to use so we are starting to see some some small impulses so we can see start to see that movement to the downside just a little bit this is euro dollar and then on other pairs i mean euro yen is very range bound right now uh aussie dollar starting to get some impulses on the dollar pairs and then even things like kiwi pairs yen pairs like so we're getting a bit of movement but we definitely need more time so just haven't rushed the markets so far this week whilst they've been corrective so far things may change i've just been back testing so i'm actually in the process right now of i think i said on the last clip building a trading plan for each pair that i'm trading so i currently have one two three four eight pairs right now that i'm trading with i need to back test a few more like four or five more but right now i've got a trading plan for each pair that is dialed in or is about to be dialed in so Pretty exciting close process really. So as you can see right now on the screen, that is just Euro dollar. Obviously I'm gonna keep it private because I'm still building a few things and deciding what I'm gonna keep, what I'm not gonna keep and what I'm gonna actually put into that plan. But uh, exciting time. So keep to see where things are at in the next few months. But in the meantime, just gotta keep grinding, keep working, keep working away. So just before I sign out here, just wanted to touch on one last point because the market's starting to move. So we may get some potential entries over the next few hours or tomorrow or Friday. So it should be good. Uh, in the meantime, I just wanted to touch on the trading plans very, very quickly because people may either not quite know what I mean or misunderstand slightly. So what I mean is that before I had one generalized trading plan for everything. So whether it was CAD Swiss, whether it was Euro Dollar, whether it was Aussie Kiwi, I would trade the same go-to setups for every single pair. Now, there's nothing wrong with that, but the more and more detail I get into within backtesting, the more I realize that each individual pair is a very, very different. So to treat Euro Yen in the same way that you would treat Aussie Kiwi is can be a lack of understanding. So what I've been doing is really digging into that on a conscious level first and foremost to really see what is different about each individual pair. So okay, well, how is Euro Yen different to Euro Dollar? What? How does it does it behave? Does it, is it more erratic? Is it more impulsive? Whereas Euro Dollar or Aussie Dollar is more corrective. So even though it may be trending in a upwards or downwards environment, it just tends to trickle. Whereas something like Euro Yen tends to move quite a lot. So just very, very subtle details and adding that to a specific plan because one go-to setup on Euro Yen could be slightly different or there may be slightly different characteristics for something like Kiwi Cat. So it's just bearing that in mind and keeping that in the back of your mind um, when you are testing. So that's what I've been doing and really just trying to figure out through the data from 2018, 2019 and 2020. Okay, well, sometimes you'll get a com commonality between losses. So I could take two losses in a row, throw, followed by three wins. But with those two losses, 
sometimes there is a commonality. So if there's a, a simple commonality amongst a lot of losing trades that are not present with the minute winning trades or very few of them, then is there a way that I can actually eliminate that or actually optimize that further to get a higher strike rate or higher profit and loss, which is gonna help me scale my account in the future years and keep that sustainable. So that's in the back of my mind and that's what I've been testing recently. So to answer the question, that is why I'm creating a trading plan based on each individual pair. Um, haven't got everything down yet. I'm still, I'm still probably like four, four pairs in out of a total of eight and then I've got a few more to back test as well. So I'm probably in a big three, four month process here. So I'm probably about a month in. So it's gonna be interesting to see how things pan out, but I really believe that this work will pay off because ultimately when I took a step back from Falcon and went independent, it was almost that, yes, I understand that I'm taking one step backwards that may knock me back, whoops, may knock me back like, you know, a month, two, max three months, but then ultimately I'm gonna catapult forward and take three, four, five, six steps forward if I apply that work ethic, which I know I would do, and I have been doing consistently since that as well. So it's just about knowing that and actually using that to my advantage. So uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to the next few months, really, it should be good. Um, but for right now in the markets, I'll give you an update if anything changes, and if I do take any trades, of course, I will let you know. So just a quick Thursday morning update. So right now it's just about to go 10 past eight. And I did actually take a trade last night. So I took Aussie dollar short, which is still running. So I'll just show you that right now. So price is pulling back just a little bit. So I'm about to go upstairs and just trail my stop a little bit because I'm yet to do that. But price is running about, to be fair, just over break even. So I'd say around about 0 0.2. So uh, yeah, we'll see what happens with that one. I'll give you an update later on. And right now I'm gonna get back to making this coffee and then I'm gonna hit the charts and some back testing. So it's 12.23 right now, and Aussie dollar is still running. So if you take a look at that, that's how Aussie dollar is running right now. So it's running a little bit, I think it's like three, four hours since I last checked in with you. It's now 12.23, it's about 8 a.m. last time I checked in, so yeah, it's about four hours. And price has moved, so price has pushed to the downside and just corrected around for a little bit. So I'm gonna see how it develops. What's gonna be interesting to me right now is to see if we do get that commitment to the downside, but price is becoming very, very corrective here. So I wouldn't be surprised if we do push back up to the upside. Whether we come back down one more time before we do that remains to be seen, but gonna keep an eye on this, gonna keep monitoring this as I go out through my day and as I back test, so that'll be good, but I'll give you an update uh, either once this trade is closed or how it's progressing throughout today. So it's currently Friday afternoon, it's just gone. Uh, 12.38, 12.38 in the UK and I'm out of Aussie dollar since yesterday. So I just didn't have much chance to vlog yesterday evening, but I did get out. So after I finished up with the gym, I'd then been taken out. I think it was within the gym or after the gym. So as I said on yesterday's clip, price was becoming very, very decent and showing clear signs of, po of a possible move up. Then we had a clear change in that direction, broke above that high, which is where my stop loss was, taken out for a small profit of 0 0.88. And then price has been Slightly corrective since then, so I'm just waiting on the sidelines, waiting for more development before I even consider a buy or sell coming into next week. In terms of any other trades that I'm in, that's the only trade I've taken so far this week. I'm currently we're on 12.39. So we still have a bit of time left. I'm not gonna rush anything, of course. That wouldn't be the best decision. Euro Yen, I'm actually looking for buys if we if we get it, maybe today, maybe to, you know next week. But if we get a clear descent in formation here, the overall the overall price action, if we just look at this, if we just look at this whole price action here, it's quite descending. So I'm looking to see if we do get any buys coming into next week. Now also have my eyes on Pound Aussie as well. So Pound Aussie, this is running the background on a different chart layout. So just looking to see if we get any sells here coming into the later half of today or next week. So also got my eyes on that. But apart from that, I am, I would say done for the week. I'm just working on my trading plan. So. If you just look at that, just working on different trading plans and stuff like that. 
just putting things on in the background for the next few weeks. But if I do take any more trades, I will let you know and I'll check in with you one last time later on to close out the week. And if I do take any trades, I'll of course hold that over the weekend. But at this point, nothing really, just keep my eyes on a few things this afternoon. So I will check in with you all later. So it's about to go 5 p.m. here in the UK and I don't personally take any trades past 5 p.m. on a Friday. So I'm gonna tune out this video and end this here. Hope you've enjoyed this entire week. Hope you've enjoyed this vlog and the trades taken as well. So yeah, just can't wait for future videos. Can't wait for the, where things are gonna be in the next few weeks and a few months. It's, it's super exciting on my end. So I'm just gonna uh, focus on that and then uh, hopefully you enjoyed the progress and the whole documentation behind that. And um, yeah, have a good weekend and I'll speak to you all in next week's video. I'm not the